Good morning, good morning. Today's a great day. I am delighted today. Yes, it's the weekend, my guys. We're here to talk about archer aviation. I won't be looking at the camera because, yes, I am driving at the moment. But today's a great day for me. And I will tell you why. But I have been looking at archer aviation lately. I think this is a, a nice weekend video for you guys. So we've been getting a lot of people saying that Archer Aviation sell a dream. They're full of lies. So what did I do? I looked back at the 2021 investors presentation because that is where we got a good sense of what Archer are planning to do. And I thought now's time to like reflect on what they've achieved. But before I get into that, I'll tell you why today is a great day. Today's the day I'm selling a car. It gives me about 32k worth of cash. Now, I know I have been reinvesting there. I did spend 22.5k the last day, but look, it's a beautiful day. I'm happy. Um, do let me know. Should I put cash into Archer Aviation? Should I keep it for my house? What should I do with this cash? Do let me know in the comments. But yeah, looking back, 2021 presentation I did do a deep dive on the 2021 presentation we're gonna start off I think I have eight points now if I can remember them off the top of my head that would be great but point number one was Archer Aviation were going to look this is in no particular order if you have seen but in no particular order Archer Aviation were going to demonstrate flights with Maker and it was going to be hover flights, you might get a transition flight, etc. Never mention piloted and what did they do? They achieved this. Point number two, they wanted to create relationships with major airlines and they wanted to get some orders in place. What did they do? They got their nice partnership with United Airlines. They've got their nice partnership with Southwest Airlines. Partnership with Japan Airlines, Korean Airlines. Look, partnerships are building up. The latter two does a memorandum of understanding for 500 million worth of aircraft for each of them. So it's 100 midnights each. We do know midnights valued at 5 million. So, look, they've achieved that. That's two points they've achieved in 2021 investor presentation. Gets exciting now. Point three. They were going to start FAA certification. We know they've started FAA certification, so that point is complete too. Number four. This way it's getting hard for me because I'm driving at the moment. But number four was they were going to complete piloted flights with the Midnight. I'm going to say that's in progress at the moment. We did get an announcement yesterday from Adam that they're going into the vertical takeoff and landing envelope and transition with a pilot on board. This was always the plan. I said it back in June. They said the next phase was always going to be CTOL envelope and then they would go into the full VTOL and transition with a pilot on board and that was for Q4 25 so it looks like they're on track there. Number five, ooh this is getting hard for me now, number five was mass manufacturing with Stellantis and I'm going to say that's in progress at the moment. Look. They've achieved what they can at the moment. Covington, Georgia factory is fully built. I'm not going to say it's fully operational, but what's the point in mass manufacturing when you haven't hit certification yet? So really, you can't beat down on Archer when it comes to mass manufacturing. That, like, put it this way. Why would you have all these aircraft out that may not get certified 
until we get the correct design, until the certification's in place, they're not going to roll out manufacturing. That was number five, was it? I remember the last two. Uh, number six. Can I remember number six? I'm sorry, there. My mind went completely blank. Number six, and this is probably one of the most important ones. They were looking to build um, urban air mobility infrastructure in Los Angeles, and that is where I first got the rumors from Los Angeles before it was even announced. People were so surprised I was able to predict the. Olympics before the Olympics announcement came out, but they did say it all the back way in 2021. So, look, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to be an open book there. I am not a prophet, I got it from the 2021 presentation at the time. Number seven, look, I've pulled up now so I can look at the camera. Number seven was full autonomy by 2027. Now, look. We know Joby Aviation have really been pushing forward with their IGX4 platform with NVIDIA. But Archer Aviation are using WISC's software, which is SkyGrid. And SkyGrid is basically Boeing's um, technology. So there's not going to be a problem there when it comes to full autonomy. I still... I'm a little bit wary of this fully autonomous flight when we can't even get pilots certified yet. So 2027, they did say it's only going to be testing starting, which maybe they will start then. But I think it's very, very soon to start testing fully autonomous flight. But I could be completely wrong. Then the final point was 3.1 billion worth of revenue a year by 2031 and that is fully achievable the only problem is is the mass scale out i said this once we get certified it's going to be that full ramp up this west Atlantis really needs to jump on board now the only thing i have been a little bit worried about is we heard adam say in the conference call and it was dylan that brought this to my attention adam said that for the next few years it'll be 50 aircraft per year not next year it'll be 50 aircraft per year he said for the next few years it'll be 50 aircraft per year and that's where it gets a little bit worrying because i'm kind of confused where this 3.1 billion worth of revenue will come out of unless it's coming from contracts we do have a backlog of 6 billion and is that where some of this is then coming to fruition you're going to get paid prior to delivery of the aircraft it would be very surprising but look what i really wanted to say about this i've said eight points to you there that they set out to do in 2021 i think they've achieved above and beyond what they could have even imagined back in 2021 look they're not only building out the vertical infrastructure in los angeles they now have hawthorne airport they're the prime sponsor of the olympics i just think at the moment even the uae like the uae wasn't even in the plans back then we're getting contracts in asia I just think it's growing so much quicker and I think people that invest in Joby are jumping on Archer's back too much but I would invite them to go back to the 2021 presentation and do let me know what have Archer lied about, what have Archer not achieved. Yes you can say they're not going as quick as Joby but Dylan put it very nicely. Would you expect your 7 year old child to be able to compete with your 13 year old child? No, and that's what we're more or less looking at here. Guys, do let me know, are you happy with the progress of Archer Aviation? Would you like it to be a little bit quicker? Do you think they're just on time at the moment? And also, let me know, what should I do with this cash? 32k, coming into the bank account. It won't hit till next week. But guys, my name is Liam, one of the Hoss brothers. Do jump in and see my seven lessons for Archer and Joby Aviation investors.